The prisoner has returned. Well done. It seems you have remembered my words. You truly make it worth rehabilitating you. I never asked for this. Shut your mouth and listen, inmate! <laughs> I am not attempting to withhold information from you. The essence of the rehabilitation that you must complete will be explained in due time. Once you encounter allies who share your ideals and discover your place in reality, only then will I explain it all. Such a day should not be far off. This time, I wish to introduce you to the aid we are providing. Aid? Due to your potential in wielding the power of the wild card, you can handle more than one persona. That power holds infinite possibilities. We will assist you in nurturing that potential. To that end, we must execute your persona. <laughs> Do not be alarmed. Personas are personalities that exist within you. Thus, you will only be discarding old personalities to have them be reborn as new ones. By discarding your old identity, you give way to a new one. Hence, we call that process execution. Think of it as the fusion of your personas. To start, select the first persona you wish to fuse. Let's select Pixie for now. Now, before you select the second persona, allow me to tell you something greatly important. Do you remember how I mentioned forming bonds with confidants? Personas are the power of the heart. The stronger those bonds, the stronger your personas will be. In other words, the effects of your bonds on execution, or fusion, if you will, are quite substantial. When you fuse a persona that shares its arcana with one of your bonds, it will gain great power. This will be a guiding principle for your forays into fusion. Try not to forget it. Moreover, there is one thing I must warn you about. You cannot create a persona that surpasses your current level. This is because the resulting persona would be too powerful for you to handle effectively. Now then, check the fusion results and choose a persona that suits your stature. Uh, I kind of don't want to do this right now. Well, I can't make either of those. The only one I can make right now is a Gatheon. Master's not finished. Oh, bugger, I can't leave. Well, this guess I'm making fault. a Gatheon. Your new persona is expected to take after fusion. It's possible for them to inherit skills they normally wouldn't gain. These skills and specialties are distinct from one another. Skills are traits that can be passed along through fusion. Select the skills you'd like to inherit. You can basically choose any skill that either persona that gets fused had. So since I'm fusing uh, Pixie with uh, Pixie with Arsene, I'm seeing all of the skills that they have that Agatheon didn't. Since it since Pixie has Dia, but Agatheon also has Dia, then I can't put a second Dia on. That doesn't make any sense. It will receive a fraction of power. Now for a rebirth. <laughs> I am Arsene, the other you who exists within. Though I may disappear this moment, I shall always be at your side. We shall meet again when your fate reaches its conclusion. <laughs> Me, Agathion. I'm gonna be your new mask now. Use me, use me, use me!
Behold, the Chariot Confidant is awakening your persona's hidden power. And that allowed level to Agatheon. If you have at least one level in the proper confidant, then your persona will level up. Increase your confidant level and your persona will level up even more. Ah, how impressive. A stronger persona has been born from the body and blood of the old. It shall be your new strength. Actually, it's the Chariot Arcana, not the Strength. This makes no sense at all. You better understand it at once. You'll end up dead if you don't master it. Gather Personas and bring them here. Gather a great many, execute them, and continue to give birth to even stronger Personas. Developing your powers as such will play an integral role in the stand against Ruin. So that your rehabilitation goes well, we have a variety of rituals to choose in regard to executions. And depending on the effort you put in, our master might consider further development of new rituals. Cry your tears of joy, inmate. Your heart is steadily gaining the strength of rebellion. It seems your rehabilitation is proceeding smoothly. A joyous fact indeed. In anticipation of this, I have prepared a gift for you. I hope that you shall accept it. I feel a deepened connection with Igor. And he'll give us third eye. See things normally invisible to the naked eye by pressing the left trigger. All right. You can now use third eye. Thanks. I just that said is that. a thief skill allowing one to tap into their sixth sense and see what is hidden in the dark. I believe you can handle it now. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Now then, if you have any requests, we will heed them. Oh, I can do things here right now. Persona Fusion Confidence Oh, this is tutorials. How fares you? Uh, for now, I want to look at the Would registry. Like read the compendium? Read here. Because we got a bunch of things from the, uh, DLC. And they apparently cost nothing to summon? That's freaking broken! Okay! There's a ton of personas in the game. Okay, there's more of them. Holy, you get so many. Uh, some of these are absolutely broken, so I'm definitely not going to take them now. I think I might take them once uh, I'm actually that level. This one's freaking level 90. I kind of want to look at it. Yeah, it's called Meggy Dolon. I can't even cast that because I don't have enough. Uh, let me look at the skills. Yeah, 38 SP. I definitely don't have that. 30 HP. Since HP is... HP skills are percentage of your HP based, then I can cast that pretty easily, and it's probably gonna be broken. Also, he's got 50 in each stat. Oh, right! <laughs> Nagi no Okami Pikoro. Uh, let me this just look persona? at this one for a moment because it has myriad truths. Heavy almighty damage to all foes three times. That can't be dodged and it just does way too much damage. <laughs> Victory cry, fully restore HP and SP after battle. Oh my god. I knew this guy was busted, but I didn't realize he was this busted. Yeah, I'm not going to be using the DLC personas until I'm actually high enough level that I would be able to fuse them. So, like, the first one I'm gonna grab is this Orpheus persona? at level 11. This persona? And he's actually pretty terrible, so I might not actually use him ever. But yeah, that's all I want to check out the inmate registry for. Let's 
I need to speak with Igor. What's this? Oh. Done already? What? Uh, I actually want to talk to Caroline and Justine. It's me. Do you have business with me? Please watch your tongue when you are in front of Master. Oh. In that case, I'll no leave. I guess I can't do that yet. Something wrong? You were just standing around all of a sudden. To my teammates, it looked like I wasn't moving. Why are you spacing out like that? It's kind of hard to tell what you're thinking sometimes. Let's just say he's a man of high caliber. We're counting on you, Joker! So, where do we start? Let's head to the safe room we found last time. It's in the first floor of the West Building. It's pretty close to our usual entrance. It should be a pretty decent starting point. Safe room? It'll make sense when you see it. Well, let's head out. You can now quick travel. Press RB to go to a safe room. Oh, hi there, Thieves Guild. You can receive You can receive aid from allies via the Thieves Guild. This is available when infiltrating the metaverse while connected online. You can only re request help a no limited number of times as the Thieves Guild will be able to help you out in a variety of desperate situations. There are no downsides to receiving aid, so be sure to use it proactively if you find yourself in trouble. But for now, let's just head into the, uh, the safe room down there. Into the west building first floor. Oh. Huh? What's up with this place? It's a gap in the cognition. A safe room, if you will. Yeah, still not getting it. Right? Oh. Uh, I'm fuzzy on the details, but I think it's some kind of spot where shadows can't find us. Huh, I didn't think a place like that existed in here. So what do we do in this safe room? Take a break, duh. Oh, and we talk about stuff, too. So this space is for resting up and plotting. Got it. I guess I'll rest for a bit, too, then. Let me know when we're ready to head out, Joker. In safe rooms, you will be able to consult with your team members at the assemble- <sighs> Yes, that. By choosing to talk, you will be able to chat with your team members about your progress through the palace, as well as check on your party. Oh! Ah, right, the safe room discussion reminds me. This is for you. A stamina kit S. You can only use that in safe places, but when you do, it'll take, a take care of all the exhaustion from our past fights. We'll let you decide when to use it. Just make sure the time's right. Uh, thanks. There's only a well. few of those, so... Let's talk to the team. What do you want to talk about? How's our progress? Hey. Hey, do you think the treasure's far? Didn't we just get in here? Based on how the castle looks, we still have a long way to go. This is amazing! I still can't believe a phone app took us somewhere like this. Well, not all of us need that app, you know. This cat can just come on and come in on his own. What? I am not a cat! So, wait, what are the deal with these soldier things that are serving Kamashita? They transform into weird monsters whenever we fight them. Hmm. Huh? Oh, you must be talking about the shadows. What are shadows? Yeah, I've been wondering about those guard dudes too. What's their deal? Hmm. I can explain explain it, but it'll be complicated. Do you want to hear? It would be good to know. Listen up! Deep in the innermost depths of every human's heart lies their true personality, the shadow. So it's not that those guards are transforming into th things. Those are their actual forms. The reason they look like gods and other mythical beings is because they spawn from the human psyche. Mm. Whoa! But. Wait, what are they doing in Kamahita's castle to begin with? Hmm. It seems the distortion of the palace draws them in. Once they're here, their forms change and they become underlings of the palace ruler. When you think about it, the palace ruler is just the shadow of whoever owns the palace. Maybe these places have something to do with the worlds in our minds, or the collective unconscious. Whoa! Oh, okay. Wait, that don't make any sense! <sighs> I had a feeling you'd say that. Well, you don't need to think too hard about it. They're enemies, so don't let your guard down, okay? What are your thoughts? Uh, nothing else we need to discuss. Let's, Let's get out of here. 
Let's okay. head in! I think I'll explore to the next safe room and end the episode. Because I've been here a surprisingly long time, considering the velvet room and all. We have no idea what awaits us up ahead. Here, you'd better take these. These fine tools have my seal of approval. Use them wisely, alright? We get three smoke screens, a Molotov cocktail, a free spray of Vanish Ball. Press X while inv investigating the metaverse to use Thief Assist, giving you access to multiple helpful functions that will aid your progress. Auto Recover uses your party's healing skills on all party members. Be aware that doing this consumes the required SP. You can also use infiltration tools such as smoke screens to quickly flee a battle. These tools will give you advantages during dangerous fights. Aw, oh, damn it! He turned around. Oh! That didn't end. Better. And that'll give us 12 rather than his usual 2 or so XP, so that's nice. Oh yeah, I never equipped okay. accessories to my two new party members, so I should do that. For now, I've just got them all with team glasses on. More XP is nice. Hmm. Oh, hi there, you're coming into the room. And I didn't get the sandbox, damn it. Oh, hi there, he ho uh, I don't have wind right now. I'm gonna have to wait until Morgana's turn to go down. Don't argue me. Rude. Alright, let's try to get you in my party. You don't think you're... I got this before. Uh... So what? Okay, I got the music notes. Uh, you do sound busy? Ha! Got you. Great minds think alike, Ho. Key? I remember now. I'm not a shadow here, Ho. I live in the sea of the key human heart. I'm Jack O' Lantern, Ho. I'm you and you're me. And now we've got Jack O' Lantern's mask. You've got a new mask, Joker. Right. Uh, there should be. Haha! I can't do that from here. You gonna turn around? Yeah, kinda. I'm not gonna get the Android. Mandrake! Don't underestimate them! Uh, oh, I just got Jack-O-Lantern. I have fire now. I believe you're weak to fire. Looking cool, Joker. Alright, lend me your power. You want to talk? As if. I won't lend my power to someone that's super lame. Hey, that really hurt. What if this leaves a scar and it's permanent? Just get plastic surgery. But I heard that once you start, you can't stop. How much would it cost to do work on my whole body? What do you mean? Why are you so interested in me anyway? I'll go with the. the I'll go with you. I'll go out with you just for today if there are no strings attached. If it pleases you. Oh wow! Looks like you've got some manners after all. You know, we're kind of like similar. Wait, talking to you made me remember something. I'm not a shadow that belongs here. I used to be in this human sea of souls. I'm Mandrake. I mean, I'm you after all, so I let's hope we get along. And we've got the Mandrake mask now. Okay. Anyway, while I was over there, I noticed some yellow glowing box here. Press A on that and you can steal it. It'll give you various things. 
That pearl can be sold for money. I can jump down here. Using Thief Vision, you can see places where you can jump up or climb down from things. And it's real nice to have. Uh, oh, there's one here, too. Okay, now that we've expanded our roster, let's try that thing. That thing? A way for us to gain the advantage during a battle. It's called a baton pass. Actually, I'll show you what I mean while we deal with this shadow. Show me your true form. Okay, I'll show you an example first. You better watch closely. Zoro, show your might! Use this opportunity to baton pass and swap your turn with someone else. Okay. You can now baton pass. Just use the one more command and you can move to another party member instead of just going again yourself. The recipient will have their attack and healing power increase. If they pass again, that party member's stats will also increase. However, you can't pass to the same member twice during a turn. Oh! If you successfully pass the baton to all four people in your party, the fourth member will be able to use a skill without using MP or HP? That's incredible! That wasn't in the base game! Now, strike the enemy's weakness and give the baton pass a try! Alright! The baton pass made you stronger! Uh, I could probably use Aha. Copy off! You're mine! You're mine! And now I can baton pass to Vaughn. Make an Augie. And finally, with Ryuji, I need to use no SP on Vicorn. And with that excellent performance, freaking boring! <laughs> nice going! Great teamwork! I knew you guys would nail it! Improving yourselves is important, but learning to fight as a team is just as vital to our survival. By coordinating our efforts, we can take control of the battle as often as possible. But Tom Passes will help a lot with that! Oh, that is so cool! Give me that. Oh, but this box has something in it. Thick parchment, alright. Uh, Baton Pass. It was actually a confidant skill in the base game. Damn it. Damn it, there's one here too. Oh well, I guess we gotta ambush it from behind again. Well, sure, if you wanna go about it the orthodox way. But there's a more stylish route. Listen up. See these sofas on the sides of the hallway? Hide behind those so you can get closer to the enemy. Once it's in range, jump on it and rip its mask off. Whoa, that does sound pretty damn cool. Still. Hey, this isn't a movie. Yeah, let's carry Joker, out our with place. your poise, you should be able to pull it off. Give it a try. Hit A to hide behind cover and then ambush the enemy. Enemies can't notice you at all while you're hidden behind cover, even if they run into you. Let's go. Ah, uh, no, let's go. You're not weak again. Oh, no, no, no. I guess I got an achievement for getting my first, uh, baton pass. Okay. Whoa, damn! Sweet, that totally works! That was so cool! They totally can't spot us while we're hiding! Right. That's right! So long as we lay low like that, enemies won't even notice us. Wherever we hide, we can take our time preparing for the next ambush. Move the right stick to look around while hiding. Moving left lets you change direction, change the direction faced or leap up to an adjacent location. 
Not only can you ambush the enemy while hiding, but you can avoid enemy contact and loot nearby treasure chests. If there are multiple adjacent locations you can move to, use the D-pad to choose your destination. You can also use up on the D-pad to focus on enemy, or down to focus on treasure chests. Ha! Piece of cake! So I can go here, and then hide behind that sofa, and then hide behind that Show sofa, and form. get the enemy. So, baton passes and all out attacks make it easy to end battles in record okay. time. <laughs> that was easy. And coupled with the fact that an ambush lets you have priority in a battle, that means you're not gonna get attacked a lot if you're playing optimally. Uh, there aren't any enemies in this room, are there? You can press B to stop hiding. But the bars are blocking our way in! How suspicious! If he's protecting it this securely, it has to be important. That means there should be a way in and out of there. Joker, do you think you can solve the mystery of this room? I'm sure your observation, observation skills will help you get through. Use your third eye inside a palace to reveal hidden items and hints. Give it a try whenever you're sure, unsure of where to go next. Yeah, it's a lot like how in Paper Mario... Super Paper Mario, you just had to flip into 2D, into 3D whenever you had a problem and couldn't figure out how, where to go. And since we saw those footprints, we knew to hit those ram heads in that order. As expected from you, Joker. And now we can find a map. Hmm. What the hell? He had it all locked up and shit, but it was just some old map? You're hopeless. Don't you realize how vital a map is? Now then. Having this will give us a better graph of the graph, grasp of the topography of the palace. This it's a true necessity for a phantom thief. This should make securing a route much easier. Wait, does it say where the treasure is on here? Oh, Actually, it seems this map is incomplete. There might be more of them around. Wanna get going? Okay, let's start checking what we can. We'll probably find another map along the way somewhere. When you find a map, any areas you have not yet reached will be highlighted in red. Use the left and right bumpers to view other floors. It's a pretty nice map. You can even see where enemies are on it. You can kind of tell which way they're facing by the direction they're going. I waited for a bit before entering this room so that this guy wouldn't attack me as soon as I went in. Mission accomplished. All right. Shadow defeated. There's another huh? shadow passed here, so I might as well handle him form. too. Simple enough. Alright. They were too weak to bother with. Yeah, now that we've got ways to get priority in this, we can just trample some enemies. Even when they've got weird party setups like that, we can just kind of stop them. Uh, which way am I going? Is there anything over here? Uh, I guess I want to go this way. Oh, there's nothing here. Okay. What's this? Oh, that's just... I guess I'm crossing over then. Kind of surprised they didn't hide anything here. Oop, I thought there was a shiny thing there. I was wrong. Ah, oh, looks like I have to go to the other side to open those bars. A safe room might be close by, Joker. Why don't we look for it? Well, first oh. let's look for this treasure chest. It needs a lockpick. We have 11 of those. Want to open it? Anytime you see a treasure with a giant padlock on it, it will need a lockpick. But... I'm playing the PC version. I've got the DLC. I can get the Night Watch armor, no problem. 
Let's see if I can equip that to anyone. I think it was a female armor, so I was wrong. Oh yeah, that's great. More agility, resists sleep, more defense. Yeah, I'll take that. And with that done, let's just head into the safe room. safe room. You can now quick travel to the central hall second floor. Let's make a note of this place so we can come right back here later. And I think next time on Persona 5 Royal, we'll be continuing our infiltration of the palace. See you guys then!